Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Good morning. Good morning. I'm back at work, right? This is a familiar scene. It seems like I haven't been here for like a week, right? But anyway, I'm back. Welcome to this morning's episode of If You Woke Up, You're Winning. My name is Panique Singleton from connectwithpanique.com. Thank you all for joining me this morning. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, all right, so this week, let's see, Monday, we talked about, you know, the fact that people are watching you. You know, even when you think that your efforts are going unnoticed, you know, even when people aren't saying anything, they're watching you, right? And then yesterday, we talked about the fact that since people are watching you, you got to be on your best behavior, right? You can't be on social media or even off social media being reckless, right? You got to be on your best behavior. That's what we talked about yesterday. And so today... Um, I want to kind of build upon what we've been talking about a little bit. And I want to say that, you know, since people are watching you, go ahead and tell your story, right? Go ahead and tell your story. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day and, you know, we were just talking about some things that she was doing and she was like, well, I don't want to post certain things on social media, blah, 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 blah. But go ahead and tell your story. Your story is powerful because see online, you can create anybody you want. To be i mean you know if you want to make it look like you're always traveling and doing these things you post pictures when you travel right if you want to make it seem like you're always eating at these fancy restaurants you can post pictures only when you're doing that like on social media you can really create a, a person or i would say a character because sometimes it's not even you it's not even your real life but what i'm saying is go ahead and tell your story on social media go ahead and share your experiences on social media because that's what people are going to associate with you right whatever you're posting whatever kind of you know if you're portraying positivity they're going to associate you with being a positive person if you're always posting negative they're going to associate you with being a negative person but so don't create something that's not real just just be yourself and tell your story you know a lot of people think their story might be boring or it doesn't matter but i'm here to tell you today that maybe your story will help somebody right because sometimes i know you go through certain things that aren't always fun they're not always glamorous you may not want to share on social media and i'm not saying get on social media and complain about your problems or your struggles but what i'm saying is use it to teach use it to encourage somebody you know maybe somebody will learn from something that you went through so maybe it wasn't the most fun situation in the world but maybe somebody else will um maybe you can keep them from making that same mistake by sharing what happened to you you know or maybe if something happened to you and you handled it a certain way maybe that gives somebody you know some insight on how to handle something that they're dealing with right because people can actually relate to the things that you're going through as well so don't be afraid to tell your story online on social media all right um that's going to help people to get to know you as well and i'm not saying you got to put all your business on social media i'm not saying you got to post every little thing but what i'm saying is don't be ashamed of, of what you've been through or what you're going through or even your accomplishments you know some people don't want to post certain things because they don't want it to seem like you know they're bragging about something and, and don't do it in that way but you know sometimes people need to see the things that you're accomplishing you know if you're online promoting a business maybe they need to see that you made a certain amount of money this week or or today you know and i'm not saying you know how some people post these pictures of all this cash and all this that's not what i'm saying but sometimes if you accomplish something you know post it don't be afraid to share it because what that does is that shows other people that it can be done because you've done it right so what i'm saying is you know just like my millionaire mentor Hold on one second, y'all. Somebody's knocking on my window. This is crazy. Give me one second. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you so much. What's your name? Okay, thank you. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry for the interruption. But anyway, guys, so tell your story because it might hurt. It might help somebody, right? Even if it's an whether it's an accomplishment or or whatever, because when you post your accomplishments, when you tell people what you're doing, that shows people that it can be done. You know, one of my mentors, Lanika Scott, always says if it 
has been done, it can be done. So sometimes you need to show people that yes, this can be done, right? And so when you also tell them the struggles you went through, they can relate and they say, wow, you know, yesterday I was having that same problem and, you know, I thought I needed to quit my business or I thought I needed to give up, but this person went through this for, for three years and look where she is now, right? So don't be scared to share your story, all right? Show people what you're doing. Show people, you know, what you're going through. Because a lot of people, they'll tell me, you know, I'm looking for more followers. I'm looking to build my audience. I'm looking for some people to partner with me in business. I'm looking for some new customers in my business. And I always tell people, well, they, people are going to partner with people. You know, people are going to support people. People are going to buy from people that they know, like, and trust, right? So how do you build that know, like, and trust factor? You let people see who you are. You let them get to know you. That's what you do, Right? That's how you build that. You be yourself. You be genuine. You don't create this character online. Be yourself. Be somebody that people can relate to. You'll be surprised how many more people you attract by just being yourself. Because people are going through the same things that you're going through. I know you think it's just you. But trust me, when you share what you've been through, when you share what you're going through, when you share different things that you're doing, that's when people will start to reach out to you. That's when people can really relate to you. That's when they start to like you. That's when they start, you know, following you. They start um, joining you in your business and things of that nature, right? So don't be somebody that you're not, you know, don't keep the little thing, the, don't keep the things that are happening to yourself, right? Just go ahead and share your story. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. Don't feel bad right? Because trust me, your story matters. Your story is important and your story can actually help somebody. It can help somebody. Trust me. All right. So guys, that's all I have for y'all this morning. I do apologize for that interruption earlier. Um, somebody had a question for me, but um, I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me this morning. Hopefully this helps somebody. Hopefully you, I said something that maybe resonated with you, something that you can maybe relate to, or maybe that you can share with somebody else. Because like I said, I thought about this because I was talking to somebody else and they were really saying, well, maybe my story isn't interesting enough. Maybe it isn't important enough. And I'm here to tell you that it absolutely is and that it can help somebody even when you don't think it can. All right. So share, 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 be yourself. And that's all I have for y'all this morning. So good morning, everybody. Uh, Precious, good morning. Thank you for watching. Leroy, I appreciate you watching. Um, Mrs. Lye, thank you for jumping on this morning. Um, Lysandra or Lysandra, I don't know if I said that right. I apologize if I said it wrong. But I appreciate all you guys jumping on and hanging out with me on this Wednesday morning, the middle of the week. Now, y'all got to get off of Facebook and y'all got to get out there and be great on purpose today, all right? Because I believe in you. I know you can do it. You just have to believe in yourself and make the choice to be great. So appreciate y'all jumping on. Y'all have an awesome day. I'll see you guys right back here tomorrow morning, uh, 6.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as usual. See you guys later.